What's up guys, this is Obronco here, and for you guys today, I have a little, I guess, how-to video on how to make your videos HD using Pentacle Studio, uh, which is most what most people use if they have a Dazzle DVC 100, which is what I use, or with uh, Sony Vegas 9 HD. I'm pretty sure all the Sony Vegases have the same settings, and it doesn't really change them up. So if you use those two programs, which most people do use, uh, this is how you can make your videos HD very simply. Um, from those Movie Maker users out there, I'm sorry you're kind of out of luck because Movie Maker doesn't have a lot of settings on it. So, when you're in the Pentacle Studio 14 import section, I use Pentacle Studio to import. I don't use Virtual Dub. I know some people use that. Um, I don't know why if you have a Dazzle because uh, Pentacle Studio comes with it, so I'm not really sure why you'd use something else. But, anyways. Um, here, this is what the main thing you're going to want to have changed. You're going to want to make sure this um, screen size is on 16.9. As you see here, it's in widescreen mode. If you go to 4.3, it's going to be in regular mode. You're going to want to make sure it's 16.9, and so it's in widescreen mode. Also, the video format, you're going to want to have it in S NTSC, because that's what um, pretty much the United States and all of Europe uses. I'm not really sure what CCAM or PAL is for. I think um, PAL is for Pacific, um, like Asia and China. Not really sure, but so also you can leave these sliders the same because it looks nice already. So make sure 16.9 and NTST. Next, we're going to come over to mode, and we're going to have scene detection. Doesn't really matter on. You just see your recorded um, what you're recording down here, and it makes it a little bit laggy. So I prefer to have it off. When you come to your presets, most of you will probably have it either on DV or MPEG. You want to open this up and you want to switch it to custom. Change your um, com your video setting compression code to MPEG2 and your um, data rate to 10 megabits. Um, I think the standard is 6. You want to slide it all the way up to 10. Under audio settings, there's only one setting. It's MP2 and you want to have audio recording checked and this is all that you basically have to do for um, importing your video so then you can pretty much start your capture and it will capture whatever you have on the screen when you're done you stop, stop capture I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to do that um, but we will stop from here and then next we will work on to the we will go to the editing and um, editing and sizing video alright thank you Alright, and we're back with the editing portion of this video, so we're going to start out in Pentacle Studio, and uh, so we're not going to use the te test capture that I recorded in the early video, we're just going to um, use a video that I recorded um, for a new track review, and this is the uh, Rainbow Road by V Ionize. So basically you just want to go to a portion of the video, also I um, forgot to mention this, but this is how to get rid of the little black side lines here. Um, so basically you just want to go to ports in the video where you can actually see the video instead of just a black screen like over here so you're going to go to the full video and then there will be this little video or camcorder thing right here you want to click on that and then you're going to go to the second from the bottom it looks like a little picture in picture thing and so you're going to see this screen right here and basically you're just going to drag this and make sure that the black lines are over the over this uh, white line right here and then you can also preview it over here um, so if it's not far enough over you can um, adjust it so it is um, and basically just going to make it full screen uh, like I'm doing here and um, don't be alarmed if it's a little stretched out in the preview um, when you actually save it in HD form it will look a lot better um, you see here pretty much got rid of all the boundaries and so now I have a full screen view and we can just go through here and as you can see it's all full screen so now we're gonna make the movie and um, I'm not gonna show the rendering but um, this is the um, default the high quality NST you're gonna wanna go to HDV 1080 60i 1440 by 1080 or no excuse me I'm sorry I'm on the wrong one you wanna go to this one the HDV uh, 720 60p, the 1280 720. This will make it a uh, 720p, and that way you can watch it in HD. So you want to click this one. Um, this one I found has the best video quality, and you can upload it to YouTube relatively quickly. So after that, we can create this file, and uh, it does take a little bit longer to save, um, 
but it is well worth it because the quality is a lot nicer. And as you can see here, uh, it's pretty much going by fives, and there's 9,000 frames. But now we're going to move on to Sony Vegas for those people who use Sony Vegas out here. So as you can see, uh, I got the same video. Um, scroll through here. Whoops, got to click this. Scroll through here, still got Rainbow Road, and um, as you can see, it's widescreen view, not full screen. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Properties, and we're going to go to Maintain Aspect Ratio, and if we unclick that right there, it will automatically put it into full screen mode, but um, there's still a little of the boundaries on the side, so you want to click this little thing over here, and it will say Event Pan and Crop underneath it and you can basically click that and all you have to do is drag this down so it'll basically zoom the screen in and you zoom it in just enough so it covers the edges of the boundaries and you can just exit out of that as you can see here it's nice full screen mode and then we go to project and make movie and you're going to save it to your hard drive and then over here we want to go to 6 m BPS HD uh, 10 720 30 P video and that is all there is to it and also you don't want to have this um, render loop region only you want to have the unselected so uh, you pretty much render the whole video but that's basically all there is to it hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this will uh, make your videos higher quality because I know I've seen some videos on Proforge Racing and uh, our friend Canucks Legend and um, you know just a lot of people they have HD videos but they're not full screen which kind of takes it takes away from the overall quality so I hope this helps you guys um, please use this to your advantage and yeah thank you